All right, hello everybody. Uh, I often get asked what do uh, CMU walls look like when you're using a concrete scanner or GPR? Um, and how do you tell the difference between an empty cell and a filled-in cell uh, that has a reinforcement in it? And so we'll go ahead today and show you. Now, if you look here on the top, all these little blips, those are indications of empty cells. Okay, these little blips indicate empty cells, the reflection off the uh, interior side of the surface part of the cinder block. So empty, empty, and it's going from cinder block, you know, into air. Empty. And here, finally, we actually get a response. That's a filled-in cell. I know it's raining a little bit, but... So as I pull back here, this cell right here has concrete and has a reinforcement inside of it. And that's how you tell. You don't get that little blip on the top. You just get um, filled in without that response, high amplitude response near the surface with a hyperbolic reflection uh, response uh, interior to the wall indicating a filled in wall with a reinforcement. Now for this system, the red line is actually located to the front of the GPR right here. It's not off to the side like many others. Um, it's right off to the front. And so that's a great indication of a filled in cell with reinforcement. We'll go ahead and keep going. Kind of just show you a few more. So empty, empty, empty. All these are empty. All these are empty. Empty. Now, you can see, you kind of get these little breaks in between. Right, that little break there, that's the center of the block. Right? Then over here, that is actually between two blocks. And so we'll keep going and see if we can find another filled in cell. All these are empty. And then finally, here's another one, right? So as I pull back, here, right here. This cell has a, uh, is filled with concrete and has a reinforcement in it. So this is a sort of typical standard CMU wall. This is some pretty basic data. Um, these can get much more complicated. And if you want to learn more, go to our website, bigmangeo.com. That's bigmangeo.com. Check out our upcoming training schedule. We go into a lot more examples of this, as well as how to find PT, how to map out in 3D, um, and a whole lot of other concepts and techniques and practical training. So hope this was useful. Hope it was helpful. Um, good luck in the field, and I'll talk to you soon.